What's up, tubers? It's Wiseman here in... Fuck, I don't know where I am. I'm in Utah. Near Kanab. Uh, oh, here we go. Peekaboo Trailhead. And I know those of you FJ Cruiser addicts, members of the cult, I know that you've been watching my upgrades to my FJ. And last time I said, that's it, I'm done. Well, as we all know, that's a lie as soon as it comes out of your mouth. So I've done four other things that are really small, barely even noteworthy, but they're kind of cool. And I like them, so I'm gonna share them with you real quick. So, in the back, right here, I got these, they're called motorcycle helmet hooks. I got them on AliExpress, Alibaba, to replace my coat hooks. And I mean, whatever you put on here never comes off. Over here, I've got a medallion flange that I rhino coated out of a rattle can. And I need to do that over here. I just wasn't sure I was going to like it. I want to do something with these, but uh, you'll just have to stay tuned because something, something's going to happen with that. Another small thing are these. I like spikes. So these were on AliExpress for, I want to say like, two and a half dollars for four of them something like that maybe even less the uh, these hooks they were like two and a half bucks a piece uh, maybe even less maybe closer to two dollars a piece delivered aliexpress.com okay so two more things I did on the inside See that? You don't see it. You're saying, what am I looking at? No more low tire pressure light. So there's a, there's a modification on the Blue Room forums and on the Facebook. Just Google how to get rid of the air, uh, the low tire pressure warning. Basically underneath here, there's two wires you gotta connect together. That's it. And the light never comes on. It stops communicating. It thinks it's completely satisfied. Uh, and I'll get back to that in a minute. But check this out. So for under a hundred bucks, and I want to say it's even under 90 bucks, I got new kicker speakers for up here and down here. I think these were like the cheapest ones, and these are like the next to cheapest ones. Under a hundred bucks, delivered from Crutchfield with the adapters to mount the uh, five and a quarter in place of the six by nines. Now, those six by nine speakers, if you stack four quarters on top of each other, that's bigger than the magnet on your stock speakers. It's crazy, man. So uh, that's that. So back to the uh, low air pressure warning. Man, I don't need it. I've already aired up and aired down once today. It happens, I do it at least every other week at the, at the least. And even if not, I know to look at my tires, I know what it feels like, I know if I'm low on air pressure. This is an 11 FJ. It's middle of 18, so it's seven and a half, almost eight years old. Probably eight years old if I can find the manufacturing date. 
Those tire sensors, there's a battery in them. That's how they communicate. The battery's not replaceable. That would make too much sense. So they cost 60 bucks when you buy them at the tire store. So here's the deal. All right, so let me explain to you why your tire sensors are 60 bucks. Manufacturer makes them for three and a half dollars a piece. Remember that, three and a half dollars up to 60. He turns around, sells them for seven dollars. There's his 100% markup. So he sells them to a distributor for seven. The distributor marks them up to 15. Sells them to all the auto supply parts stores around the world. Auto supply, auto supply parts stores, they mark them up to 30. And guess who they sell them to? They sell them to your, that's right, your car shop. So they got to put a 100% markup on it. Guess what it costs you and me? 60 fucking dollars for a three and a half dollar part. And that's with only changing hands a few times. Just imagine when they have a little bit more. It's ridiculous. So do the hack. Get rid of that tire light warning in there. It's ridiculous. Okay, hit a thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe more than anything because I got one more modification coming to the front of the truck. You're really gonna like, it's really gonna be custom, it's really cool. Ain't many people got it out there. Uh, it's sitting on my garage floor right now waiting for me to get home. I just hadn't had the time and I knew I wouldn't be needing it for this trip because I'm not off-roading at night. So I don't need it. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So stay tuned, that's coming up in it within the next week. See ya.